Okay, this is the black box that we talked about earlier called the hydrostat. It's sort of the brains of the boiler. And Dave's going to go over uh, how the power comes into the uh, box and then uh, how you want to set, do some preset uh, settings on it before you start the boiler up. Okay, here we have two wires. One's your black, one's your white. Black is your hot coming in, which will always go on L1. And L2 is going to be your neutral. Anytime you see one and two inside of a circulator, number one is always the power. Number two is always the neutral. Does not matter if it's, you know, L2, C2, B2, they're neutrals. L1, C, C1, B1, they're powers. And you'll see at the bottom of every circular or uh, every triple aquastat that there will be letters with numbers. Now, every triple aquastat will have the same setup. Different design internals, but same numbers and same letters. Now, when you're done installing the boiler and you have power energized to the triple aquastat, there's going to be two dials on top and one on the bottom. The bottom one is meant for oil burners only, and we turn that off. So you're going to turn that all the way to the left, and it'll read off on the display. From there, we're going to go up to the low temp, where we're going to set this on the boilers that are UL ASME approved need to be 140. We'll set that to 140, and then we'll go to the high limit, and the high limit's got to be set to 160. The reason why we can only use these two temperatures is because the testing that we have gone through with UL requires us to have them set at that temp. Anything higher will go out high limit. Now, when you go and you adjust the low limit and high limit, you'll hear it click, and which will in return engage the unit. Um, if there's no water in the boiler, it'll be on hard lockout for low water, so it will not engage anything. It will just sit here like it is now. Um, so you do need the, the boiler filled, at least the boiler, you don't need the system filled, but at least the boiler filled to uh, stay off a hard lockout on low water. Um, once that's all done, you'll hear a click, you'll hear the unit engage and start feeding coal.